Now let's talk about how small ball works on a short stack. Unfortunately, our small ball strategy of liberally raising lots of hands before the flop gets thrown out the window when our chips dwindle. For small ball to be effective, the pre-flop raises should represent a very small portion of your overall stack size. With blinds at 50 100, if you had 20,000 in chips, making it 250 represents little more than 1% of your stack size. Now if you had that same 20,000, but the blinds were 2,000 4,000, a standard small ball raise of 10,000 would represent 50% of your total stack. The play becomes obsolete in this case. Having said that, there are still ways to play a short stack that will allow you to use your post-flop skills. You'll just have to be a little more creative and add limping to your repertoire. Let's look at an example where you might be able to make this play work for you. Your stack size is 100,000 with 3,000, 6,000 blinds and a 1,000 ante. A standard small ball raise would be to 15,000, but that represents 15% of your stack, which is more than we'd like to invest with a hand that we'd have to fold to a raise. So let's say you're the first one into the pot and look down at King Jack suited. Now, that's not a hand you want to play for all your chips, but it could become a strong hand after the flop. By limping in, you increase your chances of getting to the flop, and that is your goal on a short stack. Get to as many flops as possible. Your opponents may misinterpret your limp as a trap and fear that you have a hand like aces or kings. Other players may raise anyway, but they likely would have raised your 15,000 bet also had you made a standard small ball raise. If they do raise, you'll likely have to play like a little mouse and give up on the hand, saving 9,000, leaving you with 94,000. When things start to look really bleak, then you'll also have to cut out limping from your portfolio as well. If your stack happens to dip below 10 bets, then you have virtually no choice but to play for all your chips when you finally find the hand you've been waiting for. Small ball is most effective when you find your chip stack to be above average. It's a style that should help you to continue to build without taking too many major risks. Once you've lost the ability to play deep stack poker, you'll need to get back to a more traditional approach, which is to play conservatively, wait for the right hand and situation, and then hope for the best.